Hey you guys, welcome to Crime and Theories. Thank you guys so much for all my new subscribers and following me here with all these cases that just have been unexplainable these past few months. Let's talk Kayla Paris, who's been missing for almost a month from Corpus Christi, Texas. I'm gonna talk about this timeline because as reports are coming in, things are changing and it still leaves things just so questionable because it turns out that Caleb actually may not have left his apartment complex, period. So let's talk about the facts that we do know for sure. On Sunday, March 3rd, Caleb was at his apartment complex. At 12.56 a.m., the early hours of Monday, March 4th, you can see him and his roommates on a doorbell, a doorbell cam that captures him and his roommates walking their dog in the parking lot. At 2.20 a.m., one roommate goes to bed and Caleb places a delivery order. At 2.44 a.m., Caleb sends a Snapchat video to his younger sister. We do not know what that video is about. But at 3.03 a.m., Caleb sends a Snapchat photo to a friend who lives and this Snapchat photo is what kind of has everyone questioning what he was doing because this was one of his last Snapchats before he disappeared. Now, he took a Snapchat of this bridge and tunnel area. This is right by his apartment. So his apartment complex are right behind. I found this video from someone on Facebook that posted it, which is really nice because you can kind of see the bridge more in detail. And then at 3.12 a.m. was his last known connection to a cell phone tower before his phone was off. This is really important because the chief of his investigation has recently put out, I think there is some bad information that intended to show that his cell phone was pinging miles away from where he lived or where he was last seen, which showed that it pinged all the way down the road by a pain management place, but in fact, it didn't. I think as we've progressed in the last couple of weeks and reanalyzed that information and gathered more information from cell phone providers, the working theory we have right now is that the last ping was probably either in the complex or out on the street in front of the complex, which that is huge information because someone in that complex had to have seen something. I think something happened in the apartment complex. So at 3.20 a.m., the Uber Eats driver delivers Harris's order. They said that they dropped it off on the porch, completely fine, didn't see anything. And then 11 a.m. Monday, a roommate finds a delivery order on the porch. And Caleb Harris has been reported missing since. Now that we're almost going on a month since Caleb Harris disappeared, the reward has been bumped up to $50,000. Here is a tip line if you have any information, but what do you guys think? I really think that something happened inside that apartment complex. There's more video footage out there and I think police is holding on to it. Let's hope for some answers soon.